Good morning, my brothers and sisters, and thank you for joining me in this morning prayer for April 5th, Wednesday in Holy Week. So hopefully so far we've had a really holy week. Um, and let's continue praying to the Lord um, because we all have needs. We all suffer. We all have concerns. And He loves us all. That's the good news, right? So let's pray to Him the way it's been done for centuries. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Stay with me. Remain here with me. Watch and pray. Watch and pray. Stay here and keep watch with me. Watch and pray. Watch and pray. Stay with me. Remain here with me. Watch and pray. Watch and pray. Watch and pray not to give way to temptation. The spirit is eager, but the flesh is weak. My heart is ne nearly broken with sorrow. Remain here with me. Stay awake and pray. Stay with me. Remain here with me. Watch and pray. Watch and pray. Father, if it's possible, let this cup pass me by. Stay with me. Remain here with me. Watch and pray. Watch and pray. Father, if this cannot pass me by without my drinking it, your will be done. Stay here with me. Remain here with me. Watch and pray. Watch and pray. Stay with me. Remain here with me. Watch and pray. Watch and pray. In the day of my distress, I reached out with my hands to seek the Lord's help. I cry aloud to God, cry aloud to God that He may hear me. In the day of my distress, I sought the Lord. My hands were raised at night without ceasing. My soul refused to be consoled. I remembered my God and I groaned. I pondered and my spirit fainted. You withheld sleep from my eyes. I was troubled. I could not speak. I thought of the days of long ago and I remembered the, the years long past. At night, I mused within my heart. I pondered and my spirit questioned. Will the Lord reject us forever? Will He show us His favor no more? Has His love vanished forever? Has His promise come to an end? Does God forget His mercy? Or in anger, withhold His compassion? I said, This is what causes my grief, that the way of the Most High has changed. I remember the deeds of the Lord. I remember your wonders of old. I muse on all your works and ponder your mighty deeds. Your ways, O God, are holy. What God is as great as our God? You are the God who works wonders. You showed your power among the peoples. Your strong arm redeemed your people, the sons of Jacob and Joseph. The waters saw you, O God. The waters saw you and trembled. The depths were moved with terror. The clouds poured down rain. The sky sent forth their voice. Your arrows flashed to and fro. Your thunder rolled around the sky. Your flashes lighted up the world. The earth was moved and trembled. When your way led through the sea, your path through the mighty waters, and no one saw your footprints. You guided your people like a flock, by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, 
you established your ancient covenant by signs and wonders, but more wondrously, you confirmed the new one, the new one through the sacrifice of your Son. Guide your church through the pathways of life, that we may be led to the land of promise and celebrate your name with lasting praise. In the day of my distress, I reached out with my hands to seek the Lord's help. If we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with Christ. My heart exalts in the Lord. My horn is exalted in my God. I have swallowed, swallowed up my enemies. I rejoice in my victory. There is no holy one like the Lord. There is no rock like our God. Speak boastfully no longer, nor let arrogance issue from your mouths. For an all-knowing God is the Lord, a God who judges deeds. The vows of the mighty are broken, while the tottering girt and strength, the well-fed hire themselves out, of, out for bread, while the hungry batten on so spoil. The barren wife bears seven sons, while the mother of many languishes. The Lord puts to death and gives life. He cuts down to the nether world. He raises up again. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He humbles, he also exalts. He raises the needy from the dust. From the ash heap he lifts up the poor to seat them with nobles and make a glory throne their heritage. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's and he has set the world upon them. He will guard the footsteps of his faithful ones, but the wicked shall perish in the darkness, for not by strength does man prevail. The Lord's foes shall be shattered. The Most High in heaven thunders. The Lord judges the ends of the earth. Now may he give strength to his king and exalt the horn of his anointed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. If we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with Christ. God has made Christ Jesus our wisdom and our holiness. By Him we have been sanctified and redeemed. The Lord is King. Let earth rejoice. Let all the coastlands be glad. Cloud and darkness are his raiment, his throne, justice and right. A fire prepares his path. It burns up his foes on every side. His lightnings light up the world. The earth trembles at the, at the sight. The mountains melt like wax, wax before the Lord of all the earth. The, sky, the skies proclaim his justice, all people see his glory. Let those who serve idols be ashamed, those who boast of their worthless gods, all you spirits worship him. Zion hears and is glad, the people of Judah rejoice, because of your judgments, O Lord. For you indeed are the Lord, most high above all the earth, exalted far above all spirits. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He guards the souls of his saints. He sets them free from the wicked. Light shines forth for the just, and joy for the upright of heart. Rejoice, you just, in the Lord. Give glory to his holy name. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, you clothe the sky with light and the depths of the ocean with darkness. Among the sons of men you work wonders and rain terror upon the enemy. Look upon your servants. Do not try us by fire, but bring us rejoicing to the shelter of your home. 
God has made Christ Jesus our wisdom and our holiness. By him, we have been sanctified and redeemed. The Lord God opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheek to those who plucked my beard. My beard. My face I did not shield from buffets and spittings. The Lord God is my help. Therefore, I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. By your own blood, Lord, you brought us back to God. By your own blood, Lord, you brought us back to God. From every tribe and tongue and people and nation, you brought us back to God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. By your own blood, Lord, you brought us back to God. Through the eternal Spirit, Christ offers himself to God as the perfect sacrifice. His blood purifies us from sin and makes us fit servants of the living God. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty, a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Through the Eternal Spirit, Christ offered himself to God as the perfect sacrifice. His blood purifies us from sin and makes us fit servants of the living God. Let us pray to Christ our Savior, who redeemed us by his death and resurrection. Lord, have mercy on us. You went up to Jerusalem to suffer, so enter into your glory. Bring your church to the Passover feast of heaven. Lord, have mercy on us. You were lifted high on the cross and pierced by the soldier's lance. Heal your wounds. Lord, have mercy on us. You made the cross the tree of life. Give its fruit to those reborn in baptism. Lord, have mercy on us. On the cross, you forgave the repentant thief. Forgive us our sins. Lord, have mercy on us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. O God, who willed your Son to submit for our sake to the joke of the cross, so that you might drive from us the power of the enemy, grant us, your servants, to attain the grace of the resurrection, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, 
forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Thank you all again for joining me this far into the prayer. Um, I wish you all a very, very good day. And I'll see you tonight in the night prayer. Have a nice day again. Bye-bye.